Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. In the last session we gained ourselves two new companions, Fenris and Isabella. Very cool stuff, enjoyed working with them. And today we still have a whole lot of quests. Uh, you know what? Okay, uh, there's a lot in secondary. But it's, it's the, the ones above secondary was less than I was expecting. Maybe we're finally reaching the point where we can go on that expedition. Suspicious lady, how's it going? The Ferelden, eh? The Fenril said you might help me. Some raider captains are having secret meetings at night in low town. The job's simple. Break up the meeting and kill every one of the bastards. Aye, anything else? That's not much to go on. It's enough to do the job. Just tell me where they are. All the details are in this letter. If you manage to eavesdrop on the meeting before you kill them, there'll be extra in it for you. I'll be here. Cool. Alrighty. And then I believe Isabella had something she wanted us to do this I way. You not, Ravani. It was this big. <laughs> There's no way. Impossible. I've had hundreds of those in my hands. Is the joke that they're lies. not talking about a dick? Would I lie about something so critical? What are you talking about? We're discussing knives. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thought well, so. Daggers, technically. I never remember the difference. <laughs> Why? What did you think we were talking about? My immediate thing, thought was like, are they doing a dick joke? And then I was like, no, they're probably doing an anti-dick joke. <laughs> and yes, they were. Hello, door, could you open? Thank you. That was weird. <laughs> it just would not let me go in. I was pressing, Hi. trying to back up and you? press it. But... My, you're jumpy. Look at you, cowering in a corner. What happened to the fearless, dashing raider I used to know? I'm not a raider anymore, Isabella. I'm just an honest merchant now. Please, Martin. You wouldn't know honest if I tied you up and spanked you with it. Sounds like a plan. You tie him up. I'll go find some honesty. Very funny, Isabella. You said you could find me help. This is the best you could do, eh? Looks like we're not needed here after all. Let's not be hasty. I'll take what I can get. I need someone to help me find out where the raiders have hidden my stolen cargo. This job's as easy as a peg-legged tavern wench. And there's good coin in it to boot. How'd you lose it? What did the raiders do to you? They closed in on my ship and forced her into the cliffs. My crew and I barely made it out alive. They must have salvaged the cargo when it was. Did they not the also, like, <laughs> fucking try and hang you? Like, he's got a fucking hanging mark around his neck, doesn't he? Or is it something else? I don't know. Looks like he's had a rope very hard around his neck. You mentioned raiders. Are the raiders a big problem around here? They've got some big plan for Kirkwall or so I've Unless heard. it's supposed to be a if knife wound. A Maybe now, someone slashed his throat really and he managed to survive them. somehow? I feel like if you get your throat slashed in this sort of like medieval sort of fantasy, you don't survive. Well, I mean, there are healers, so there is healing magic, so I guess it's possible. Uh, can't you do this yourself? It's your cargo. You look for it. Those raiders are still looking for me. I'm not going to draw their attention. Why leave them? You used to be a raider. What happened? Yes, I was a raider. Back then it was just smuggling and petty thievery. It's changed since that madman Ianto took power. All right, let's go kill Ianto. Extortion, murder, kidnapping. He does it all. It's just not to my taste. I tried to get out, but he didn't like that. This scar on my neck, he gave ah, it to there me. there we go. Slit my throat and threw me overboard. I tried to start a new life away from this bullshit. And he has his men chase he me down He slit your throat and, and threw you into the cargo. sea and you still managed to survive it? Bastard. There were healing fucking mages just chilling in the water <laughs> nearby? What? How the fuck do you survive a fucking massive slash across your throat like that? Without... If you're just in the sea. <laughs> well, what's the cargo? Why would the raiders want your cargo? Is it valuable? How should I know why they want it? It's just spices and herbs. Nothing special. Yeah, I feel like it's not just spices and herbs, but sure. I'll take care of it. You'll need to look around the docks. The crates bear the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. 
so you'll know it when you see it. Sure. I'll find your cargo, Martin. You have my word. I've had it with the Raiders, and this cargo is the key to me getting on the straight and narrow. You're doing me a huge favor here, friend. Thank you, and be careful. Alrighty. Boop, 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 boop. Is, um, yeah, Alistair's still here. Do you have anything? This is all no. I wonder if his speech ever updates. Okay, so this is up to the docks. Cub war nights aren't safe. Always some group of thugs around. Someone will usually pay for their removal. What was this one? Uh, attack plus 20 and crit plus 20. Sounds good. Uh, you've got that one going, which is the defense and crit. That one... I don't know if that's worth it. Is 10% attack worth 15% of his stamina? He's not got the longest stamina bar. I don't think that's worth it. Uh, and you... Get that speed going. And then what was this? Savvy. Uh, her fighting instincts allow her to perceive enemy attacks before they happen. Although she inflicts less damage. For every en enemy nearby, she gets... Wait, what? Damage... Oh, right, yeah, sorry, no, I was reading... I read it as damage twice. It's damage and defense. Wait, did I buy this? Did I think it was enemy damage that went down? But it was actually her damage? I may have thought that. But that's actually still... Oh, 30% reserve, though. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. 30%. Where was... Where is that ability? Is that in her end tree? Oh, right, I had to buy it. Right, yeah, it was across the bow that I was the one that was more interesting, I think. But this is the one that's really good, and I had to get that to get that. That's fine. Um, in fact, she's almost leveled. She's almost going to get that next one, so that's good. And then there's little old me. I've got my normal stuff. Top is my crit chance, I think, something like that. It's like 100% to crit for 10 seconds or something when I press that. Okay. Hello! Oh, you're not enemies. Oh, you are enemies. Well. Not bad, not bad. Oh wait, she's getting fucked up up there. Oh god. Hello? Getting stuck on the fucking scenery. Cheeky level for this bro. Uh, let's give him... Let's give him some stamina because he is definitely lacking on the stamina front. And then... Uh... I guess another point in strength. Sounds good. All right. Uh, what was I going for down here? Was I going for this? La flares with dark energy. Lashing flows with a blast of spiritual force. Lyrium ghosts must be active. Yeah, I mean, sounds good. Fucking have it, mate. Have it. Okay, now where were... Wasn't there a package I was supposed to... Check? Or am I thinking of something else? What the fuck quest did I just do? 
Uh, was it, did we just finish it? Maybe, maybe we did finish it. Was it that one? I don't know. <laughs> I've lost it. Lost track. Well, whatever. I mean, there's no main quest arrow on our thingy, so I guess we're done. Um, sure. Boop. Uh, oh, right, because we have to go back to the pub and let him know, I guess. I guess you just don't have to... Oh, that was a suspicious lady. Oh. The raiders are dead. You've done Ferelden and Amaranthine a great service. Clap. Item received, Ring of the Archmage. What be the Ring of the Archmage? It be a legendary. 4% crit, 3% physical damage, and 3 magic resist. That is pretty awesome. What have I got? 7 health, 9 defense, cunning health, and damage resist. Hmm. I think the 4% critical damage is probably better than the the gallows thing. Like, that is good, but... I think we do that. But then because that is good, we can give that to someone else. So what do you have? You have mana, stamina, and attack. But then you're, you don't tend to get in fights. You're the warrior. 15 attack, 14 attack. Okay, let's just replace your 14 attack with health and defense then. There we go. Seems like a good trade. We do need to sell stuff pretty soon. Okay, so once again, we are done with night. But now there is more... Oh my god, look at all the markers. Oh my god. Please, Lord, give me strength. I feel like I, I, I just cleared. I just cleared the map. I've heard about the circle of magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. What's it like in Tevinter? How is the Imperial circle of magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. Why'd it change? You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinter. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. Weren't they defeated? I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered the south, but not the north. The Magisters eventually surrendered to the Chantry, but they did so on their terms. They kept their influence. Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. Are the Magisters so terrible? You talk about the Magisters as if they are all evil. I have no doubt that some are good and noble men, strong enough to resist temptation. But how many temptations do you wish to offer a man before he will give in? Blood magic is everywhere in Tevinter, from the lowliest apprentice up to the Archon himself. How'd you know? You can't have seen this for yourself. Huh. <laughs> Daenerys talked about it often. Of course, they say it's forbidden. Behind the smiles and closed doors, however, it's a different matter. To be a Magister in Tevinter is to be glorious. To be a powerful Magister in Tevinter, that is worth any price. How is it inevitable? You're saying the same thing could happen here? 
If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers? Of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do, and then they are lost. Not all mages do that. You can't say every mage is corrupt. All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. Power corrupts, as they say. And mages have power enough already. Yeah, I mean, power corrupts also applies to, like, the Chantry. And, like, the fucking dickheads running the Templars here and stuff. It sounds like power has fully fucking corrupted them. Why did it change? Wait, no. We already just... No, we did that. That's it. Uh, it's wrong to oppress mages. Treating every mage like a criminal isn't the answer. And not every mage deserves the benefit of the doubt. Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. Then you're blind. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. I see no oppression here. Looking at the prison where the mages are fucking kept, that it literally used to be a prison. <laughs> It's like they couldn't make it any more fucking obvious. We have found neither Hyde nor Hera the lad, Fainreal. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then... You know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainreal wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. Ooh, money, money, money. Nah, you good, man. You have my sympathies. Do not fear the Templars finding out. Fuck the Templars. Thank you. She is at peace now. I would not wish to see her name smeared while her ashes are still warm. Fuck the police. Hey, Isabella. Nicely done. You can have... Hmm. Shall we go... Let's go a bit more... A couple bits more health. And let's go... Another dex. Boom. All hands on deck. Appears to be everywhere at once, executing a lightning-quick series of backstabs to each opponent in a small area. But eight meters, that's not that small, I don't think. That's pretty good. What's the upgrade for it? Uh, now leaves each opponent stunned. 100% to stun versus normal. That is very good. And it's only on a 30 second cooldown. I was expecting it to be like 50 or something. That is really good. That is, like, really good. What's my... Okay, best way of knowing how much 8 meters is, is to compare it to my flask. My flask is 5 meters, and that is a decent fucking size. So the fact that the her thing is almost 50% more... Wait, no, it is It is 50% more. <laughs> it's almost 100% more, is what I was aiming for. If it was 4 meters, it would be 100% more. Um... Then, yeah, that's really, really, really good. That is really good. So, You might want to see this. This was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes. I was also attacked by shades. These are human bones. Then there is no chance of finding Meren alive. Or any of the others. I did what I could. I saw someone leaving the scene, but they got away. I'm sorry. It was more than I accomplished. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. Cool. Wow. Fenris. <laughs> uh, buddy. That's a lot of rivalry you've been giving me in the last five minutes. <laughs> How are we looking? Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. But still, I'm going to be pro mage for the entire series, so we're going to have problems, mate. Have you met my sister? <laughs> uh, right, are we done here? 
So, Elf. That uh, thing you do with your hand. I can already tell this isn't going anywhere pleasant. I bet that makes pickpocketing easier. I'll try it sometime and find out. Yeah, you've never tried that before, of course not. Right. Now to the docks. Man, it's like, <laughs> I, I completely cleared the daytime. And then I go to the nighttime, do a couple things there, and suddenly I have four areas that I've got to go back and clear in daytime. By them. Is brooding a sport into winter? Do they hold competitions? Hand out trophies for the best scowls? <laughs> I'm not brooding. Moping, then. You seem like you're a champion at it. I'm perfectly content at the moment. Oh, so that's you smiling. <laughs> Glad you clarified that. I'd never have known. Banter. It's just like... I feel like there's just way too many quests that are all essentially identical. It's walk around Kirkwall, go to place, fight enemies at place, or pick up something from place, or whatever. But it's like, <laughs> it's the same place that you've just done another five quests in. And, I don't know, it's all really, really blending together, which is not great. I'm looking for some cargo. You're in luck. Cargo all around. Take your pick. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Can you help? I could use your assistance. I'm looking for crates sealed by the Olesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Talk to the Arbor Master. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. Hey, if you're done wagging your tongue, can we get those sacks off the docks? Why does that feel like a right. setup? That did not feel like he was actually helping. I don't know, maybe I just read that wrong. But that sounded like a, we've got fucking cops waiting at the office to see who comes and tries to pick this up or something like that. Hello, Harbour Master. Shipping manifest. I'm looking for cargo bearing the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. Ugh. Adam, deal with this. I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. I'm Adam, the Harbour Master's assistant. I understand you're looking for a Legion cargo. I have seen the crates. Yeah, okay, cargo I read it wrongly. Where? Such a shame. Uh, funny how that works. They're clearly bullshitting me, right? I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. Fear will help you remember. They say your life flashes in front of your eyes before you die. You're not going to kill me in broad daylight. No one's that stupid. This is ridiculous. I'm not fucking paying you, dickhead. I'm not paying for this. Then I am deeply sorry I could not be of more assistance. Good day. Liam leaves his office at nightfall. We could sneak in after dark, take a look at his records. Alright, so he's still marked because we can still choose to pay him, I guess, but... We sure as fuck aren't doing that. I mean... She said he leaves his office after nightfall, but it's not marked as a thing, but like... Hello. Woof 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 Dockside redirect. Woodrow's Warehouse East. This document is in order to redirect cargo to Woodrow's Warehouse to the east. It's endorsed with Harbour Master Liam's barely legible signature along with a note from his assistant Aiden. Orlesian Port Authority seal here. Suggests we apply the special rate for this. Alright. Weird that that was not marked on my map, but we got it. Ship captain, when did I forget to pick this up? Shut your mouth, you bitch. Pardon? <laughs> Shit, 
We're under attack. Yeah, that's what you get for calling me a bitch. A bitch? Oh hey, it's the it's the same place <laughs> that we just had that f end fight in in the previous quest. Oh boy. Trap. It's a trap. Hello. My God, I very nearly all set. Sample of Martin's cargo. Oh, the black hand. A blend of 27 toxic plant essences with a healthy dollop of cobra venom for that extra kick. That poison will kill a man in two breaths. Can I have it? <laughs> please, can I have the deadly poison? Please, <laughs> please. Is there anything to check? I don't here? like the looks of this. Yes. So that should do it. Okay, so although these are the exact same areas, they do refill with stuff, which I guess is because they are pretending that it isn't the exact same area. I don't suppose those coordinates are any good. Uh Oh, wrong thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Was it these? No, oh, thank you. This is, this is going to get old, isn't it? But it's like, here's the same place again, but this time we closed off a couple of different doors. This makes it unique, you see. Anyone waiting for us outside, or can we go? We can go. All right. This in. Stop looking at my chest. My eyes are up here. But the chest hair. Do you know how much I suffer under your gaze? I am a person, not an object. Uh, Varric? <laughs> Just shitting you. <laughs> You're smuggling poison. I thought you were trying to change your ways. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier. And I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people <laughs> I am do completely with it. absolved so, of responsibility. Where is it? Yes, it is nothing to do nothing to do with me. 
Uh, go fuck yourself, mate. I refuse to be a part of this. You want it? Get it yourself. Oh, come on. If I don't get the goods back, I'm ruined. Mm, I mean, cash is tempting. We need 50 gold, but... Telling him to fuck himself is more tempting. I just can't be a part of this. Fine, you've ruined me. Happy now. Yes, actually. Oh, right, that gives me Isabella with rivalry because she used to know that dickhead. Oh, well, guess he's just going to have to cope. And now we go back up to Hightown. Wahey! You know, Ravenna, you promised me you'd tell me how your ship wrecked. I was drunk. I thought the reefs around the wounded coast were made of candy. Oh, come on. And a demon told me to do it. It bet me 60 sovereigns and a bottle of port. You're not the only one here who can bullshit, you know? This ring is all I have to return to you. I'm sorry. Oh. Ninette's wedding ring. Yes. Look at the engraving. Forever faithful. Forever yours. Oh. Written in happier times. Where did you find it? Mm. <laughs> Should we tell him? I feel like... If I was in a situation like that, I'd want to know. Like, it's, like, horrible, obviously, but I'd rather know. It was on Ninette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. I mean, that was a bit of a oh, shitty way of fucking telling him. Hand? Huh? I see. <clears throat> well, uh, maybe you should take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her death. Especially with her family asking questions. No. They're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. Alright. Welcome, merchant. Thanks for the gold. How close am I to the magic 50? 47.94. Getting pretty close. Well, good luck to you then. Wrapping up side quests, left, right, and center. But it seems like the moment we wrap stuff up, we get another 10. But hopefully that is coming to an end. We did your thing. Well, are you here to socialize or did you bring my goods? Uh. Right, we're lying to her. They were stolen. I rescued your boy and killed the Coterie. But your property was long gone. Coterie? I should have figured. They've got a lock on all trade with the dwarves. If I'd had someone decent on the job, they'd have dug into it first, not walked in blindly. Well, no cargo, no coin. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. Keep your books right where? Good job, Hawk. I ain't seeing any books. Uh, I guess we're done here. Now up to the Viscount's Keep. Right, this is Aveline's thing, right? And this dude's a fuckhead. Let's go call a fuckhead a fuckhead and see how he reacts. I'm guessing not well. You. I am oh! Captain. I won't be treated like this. We've actually got people on side. Geraldin, bitch, this was none of your affair. I'll see you hanged. Quartered. I was expecting this her to get kicked out. I was expecting him to pull rank and like we no one would believe her kind of, of thing. To suspect people's such poor character. But you, Aveline Valen, have proven your loyalty and ability. The guard deserves better than him, Messer. Indeed. Messer. The Viscount would have you 
put your care for the men into direct practice, you will assume the captain's job. Oh. What? Nicely done. In due time, of course. There will be training, approvals, months at least. But who better to rebuild respect than the woman who exposed this embarrassment? Well then. Resolve any outstanding business, guardswoman. You will be very busy. Is that is that the the it'll take months of paperwork and all this that and the other is that their way of saying you know you can still go with Hawk for now but then you're going to be made captain and then you won't be able to go with Hawk. <laughs> uh, the Kirkwall City Guard. It is with pride that I, your Viscount, grant the authority of law and civil enforcement upon the guardsmen of the independent Kirkwall. No more will we defer to the will of foreign troops or draw a holy order into tasks unbefitting their mandate. These proud men and women will be of the people and will enforce the laws we have elected for a civil and ordered society. And should the spectre of invasion return, the noble guardsmen will conscript from the population, for who better to amass the people's will than the constables of law charged with its inspection. This is a great day, fair Kirkwall, and I am honoured to appoint the first guard captain. Long may he serve the will of the free people. Uh, right. Oh, she wants to chat. Wait, she did want to chat. <laughs> she wants to chat when I'm outside, and then I walk in, and she no longer wants to chat. Always where you need. That's great. Is that just fucked? Like, she. I'm with you. Hmm. Wait, my allies aren't coming with me out the room. Oh, it thought the door was shut. What? Wait, and now there is no door. <laughs> the door... <laughs> the door was open. And I pressed the open button, and then the door... opened itself into the wall. Point the way, Hawk. Wait, but you're still not coming. Oh, wait, no, you weren't part of my crew. But, like, I can't even speak to her. Should I... If I just wait. walk out and walk back in, will that fix it? What a fucking weird bug. How much longer do I have to wait? Oh, she's over here. Varric, and now no. she's back in there. <laughs> well, you're the captain. Or you will be. It'll be easy. I'm not petitioning the Viscount to help you steal ownership of the hanged man. Banter. Steal. Madam, you wound me. I'm about to. Big changes are coming, huh? Captain of the Guard. Thank you, Wesley. <laughs> He's in your thoughts? That you keep his memory speaks well of him. He was He's a complete doll. I know that. Wesley's at the maker's side, or he's not. He's not. Either way, he knows no pain. What I keep is that moment. I won't let anyone down like that again. You doubt he's with the maker? Wesley's at the maker's side, or he's not. Or what do you mean by that? Well, you see, Wesley was Wesley a bastard, believed. so... And if he was correct, then that's where he is. But this business of the less the Maker does, the more he's proven, I don't find it compelling. But you married a Templar. I married a man. A good one. And he's gone. I have heard the Unfortunately, chant. I don't think there's it any such lovely. thing as a good Templar. Perhaps that's all it needs to be. Uh, but this isn't about... Well, I mean, there was Alistair, but he quit, right? So, he knew what was up. Fuck him. This isn't about him. You clearly miss Wesley. But that's not the issue. Of course I miss him. But he's not coming back. Pining like a child serves no one. So I remember him. But I let him rest. You're not so kind to yourself, though. No. Uh, you think you let him down? I don't see how you can take the blame for the Darkspawn Horde. 
I didn't cause his death, but I also didn't prevent it. Do you blame me? I did. I didn't want to. I know why it had to be done, and so did Wesley. But in my heart, that cut was cruel. Yeah, but have you considered that it was funny? Will you leave to be captain? I can't imagine the captain of the guard will like wandering in my shadow. It's not like this job means we're on opposite sides. The good you do, it seems rather appropriate. Besides, I'll be making the patrol schedule, and I don't intend to lead from a desk. Good work. I look forward to working with you. Guard, Captain Aveline. Still strange, isn't it? Captain of the Guard. Thank you for helping me get here, Hawk. It's where I should be. Cool. Friendship plus ten. Right. Where to next? Oh my god, we're done with both day and night. Now it's time to go back to Sundermount. Oh my god, how many fucking quests have we got there? Let's do Sundermount first, I guess. I guess? I guess. Uh, why am I not seeing any markers? Ah, I guess we're just killing everything. The danger is past. Are you all right? No thanks to this lot. Can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You, though, you're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. Your mess just picked me up on the way by. Still better than what I had. Look, the name's Javaris Tintop. I need someone to help pacify the car. Pacify? Why do I get the feeling he's not talking yeah, nice about euphemism. singing them a lullaby? Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I felt it sting. Their ships fire thunder. Uh, they offered this to you? I doubt they were eager to sell. That Arishok said I wasn't worthy. Not only their outcast, the Talvashoth, or that mercenary. I said, great, I'll go talk to them. Didn't go over well. But, made me think. Maybe he'll bargain if I get rid of something that bothers him more than, well, me. The Talvashoth. The Talvashoth. Are you up for some paid hunting? Aren't they supposed to be, like, scary fuckers? Dwarves don't have explosives? Your people must have something like that already. Small things shaped to crack faults, not shatter the earth. Plus, they're mostly lyrium. Expensive, poisonous, the Chantry controls it topside, the glow makes you a target. A problem after problem. Uh, but magic already does this. What's the point when we already have magic that can do the same thing? Maybe you have magic, all tough and human and whatnot. But what of the common man? How does he remove stumps from his land or produce them on his enemies? What does he do when he needs a hole far too fast? Magic is hard to market, but this stuff, this stuff you can put in a bag. Uh, I mean, if the coin is good. All right, I'll step in for you. For a price. I'm done bargain hunting. I want it done right. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. Alrighty, that was another one for the Wounded Coast, eh? Which is where we're about to go, I think. Uh, oh, wait. Herbalist Tasks is still here, so that wasn't it. Uh, find pure iron bark. It's here somewhere, okay. Pure iron bark. Uh, 
Is it going to be obvious? I don't understand. This is not a big area. How can I have missed it? But when it says the Dalish may know where to find it, am I supposed to... Unless it's here. No. Am I supposed to go and talk to them even though that's not where the quest is pointing me? Are they at the Wounded Coast? I can't remember. Uh, Wait, I thought I'd been here before, but the map is blocked out. Have I not been here before? I enjoy a man with markings like that. You've enjoyed many, I suspect. Where I come from, they're called tattoos. Sailors get them all the time. Not made of lyrium, I'd imagine. <laughs> Not a one. And the pictures are different. Usually breasts. I suppose a pair of lyrium breasts tattooed onto my chest would make things better. That's me. I'm a helper. Sure. Okay. No, you know what? I guess we haven't... I don't recognize this, so... Glitter dust is the powdered form of a rock found along the wounded coast. When explorers brought the sparkling rock to the markets of the free marches, it became immediately popular among wealthy ladies who crushed it and applied the powder to their faces. The added brightness added and luster... Wait, what? The added brightness and luster to the skin, however... There we go, reading fail. Soon paled in comparison to the developing rash and coughing fits. As it turned out, it's extremely dangerous if ingested or inhaled. It's also extremely flammable, as several ladies discovered after powdering their hair while sit standing next to a candle. Unfortunately, this resulted in a dozen deaths by con conflagration. These days, it's used sparingly, only by experienced alchemists. The most common form is volatile. If gathered from caves where darkspawn dwell, the rock produces a powder known as tainted glitter dust. Alrighty. Alright, alright. Oh, hello there. Ow. Okay, should we do a little bit of this and then do a little bit of this? Oh, well that was easier than I expected. I just popped my buffs. I thought there'd be multiple waves. This game loves doing multiple waves of enemies. And then it was just a few dickheads. <laughs> so wait, can I not talk to the elves again then? Or maybe this guy knows something? Do you even know her name, Shem? No? It's Denyla. She's dead. And you killed her. I was a beast then. A werewolf. I did many terrible things. Is this talking I... about the stuff from DAO? In the Brazilian Sorry forest? Does not bring my mother back. I was a victim too, Elf. Of Zafrian's vengeance. Stranger, please calm her down. Uh, a werewolf? Did I hear you right? You're a werewolf. I was one, but no longer. Her Dalish keeper cursed some humans with lycanthropy long ago. The disease spread over the years. But the hero of Ferelden freed us. Sure fucking did. Don't do this. Is this what your mother would want? But he murdered her. This man may have a wife, children, certainly a family. What will they think of you? Kill him and you become him. You shame me. My mother would not want this. Leave Shem. Before I change my mind. Atta girl. Really? Rivalry with Isabella for that? Are you fucking sure? Why? Twelve spots left. I probably should have sold before I uh, came here. Oh goody. Hello.
This place is bigger than I realized. I thought this was the, uh, when I was coming to it, I thought it was the elf joint that we went to for some reason. Get back! But a uh, cheeky gold. Racing through dirt. Why the Dalish enjoy this, I'll never know. Do do do. Oh god, Varric's getting fucking rinsed. Right at the end. Dickhead. Dickhead, mate. Why are you always dying? Except he's not. So I'll give him a pass. That's the first time he's died, I think. Anything down here to grab? No. Uh, sure. Messages for the wardens. Hmm. They probably paid to have them returned. Oh shit! So I'm doing a loop and then I will go around to the far end bit. <laughs> <laughs> 